On today's video, I'll be following a tutorial that I found on Drumio about how to make this auxiliary hi-hat mount out of a tom arm and some spare hi-hat parts. I used this in one video and you all have not stopped asking about it, so I think it's time I show you how I made this. But first, this video is sponsored by Drumio, and the tutorial I'm following is actually from my series, DIY Drum Experiments. But of course, they have way more to offer. They have all the tools and resources you would ever need as a drummer, no matter where you are in your drumming career. They have endless playalongs and over 200 courses with thousands of individual lessons taught by your favorite drummers. What I think is the coolest though is Drumio Coaches. Staying motivated can be a real struggle, but with Drumio Coaches you have access to weekly live streams from 10 totally different drummers. So you can choose the coach whose style and career best suits you. Or you can just learn from them all. If you're interested in taking your drumming to the next level, you can follow the link in the description for a free 30 day trial of Drumio Edge. Now let's just log into Drumio, go over to shows, DIY Drum Experiments, Episode 4, Hi-Hat Stands. So before we really dive in, let's take a look at the tools and materials that we'll need. A hacksaw, check. A wood saw, check. And a drill, good to go. Now for the materials, we'll need a tom arm, and I would suggest getting a longer one over a shorter one. And for all the hi-hat parts, it's probably easier just to hack up an old stand that you don't need anymore but you can buy all these parts separately should you need to, which is what I did. And last, you'll need a three quarter inch dowel, which you can find at basically any hardware store or craft store. Now let's just follow this tutorial. Start off by removing the cap that's on the short section of the tom arm. Wait a minute, I didn't say we needed pliers. This guy should be fired. Then grab a three quarter inch dowel and cut it down to about five inches. All right, five inches, I'll remember that. Now steal the cymbal seat off of a hi-hat stand and fit that onto the dowel. It should be pretty tight. Now we have to drill through the dowel in order to fit the hi-hat rod and I'm using the hole in the cymbal seat as a guide. Smart man. It's a nice looking hole. Measure the length of the tom arm plus the length of the cymbal seat and cut the dowel down to that length. Now take a larger bit and drill a counterboard deep enough and wide enough for a nut and washer. Now steal the rod off the hi-hat stand and insert it through the dowel so that the threads end up on the side with the larger hole, then add a washer and nut. All right, so the nut goes in the hole and this whole thing should slide right into the tom arm. And I guess we'll cut down the rod since it is kind of long. Six inches should do. Six inch rod. Cool, that's simple enough. Let's uh, go to the garage. The length of this particular tube is about three and a half and the depth of this hole is about three quarters so I'll cut the dowel down to about four and a quarter. Mm -hmm. 